Uh-oh. So you you just not gonna stand up and let me see what you're working with? Are you wait till I push the lock for real? I didn't. <laughs> you gonna really wait till I push the button? Yeah, I'll put you on the spot. You just not gonna stand up and let me see this shape. Trent. You gonna be? I told you what it is. Oh, I gotta do my my sharing out. Oh, you can you can you tell them what we doing? Why you doing your sharing out? Or you just gonna have dead air. No, that's not. I told you, I, I should have waited. Yeah, you you laugh. You hot. Oh, I am live. Huh? Yeah. All right, let me share out first. <laughs> It's your car. I'm just in. I'm just along for the ride, man. I'm just along for the ride. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right. So, anywho, this has that was a blood curdling scream. Yeah. You see how I tried to just act like it didn't ever happen? Because it didn't happen. That's why nobody's crying. It was screaming. So, okay, so we're here. Let's get this party started. What should we start with first? You tell me. I'm just here so I won't get fined. <laughs> Did you really get fined? Ain't you going to find me if I don't show up for Chit Chat with Joy and Trey? Oh, I thought that was really something. I thought people really do get fined. Well, in the NFL, you do. And in the, yeah, in sports, you do. If you I miss your on, media obligations. I doubt on the free app you're going to get fined. So you're not going to find me? Cool, then. No. Nah. I, I know I can be late and not show up. You know I'm going to be late. I, I was late right now. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the conversation I was go to what I wanted to look at. So, anywho, back to business. It's a slow day. Welcome, everybody that's maybe going to come in. I know there's a lot going on right now. So, What's Mr. What's going Money, on? There's a lot going on in the... Um, you know, in the world. Let's play it off like that. It's a lot going on in the world right now. And one of the things that's going on is what? Fair, equal pay for women. Fair, equal play, pay. And you have something to say about fair, equal pay for women. You know, I think the, the title was "Is Women Basketball Worth Less?" Let's address yeah, that one first. Yeah, but that has to do with their pay as well. Huh? But that has to do. It, but the the okay, cool. Is it worth less? Absolutely, because it doesn't produce as much as its counterpart. So, should the have have you ever been to a women's sports event? Hmm. Recently, no. Ever. Yeah. In I high have. school. Yeah, in high school. Yeah, that doesn't count. Since the in the past twenty two years since the WNBA has existed, have you been to a college game or a WNBA game? I when I well. Yeah, when Lisa Leslie was playing. Does that count? Okay. Yeah, it does. It counts. So that was about what fifteen years ago? Yeah. Cause I can My, I can Google you know. when Lisa Leslie was uh when she retired. 
And and well, it, that's the point. You hadn't been in a long time. Have you ever bought a jersey, a hat, a wristband, any type of WNBA apparel? No. And that's why they're worth less. Women don't even support them. So why would they get the same type of money? One, that the men I'm get? just one woman. I'm just one woman. That yeah, doesn't. It, You but you what? Gotta, that doesn't count for that because I guess it starts in college because it's the yep. NCAA. That's high school. It starts in high school too. Well, high school, yeah. Because the boys' revenue brings in more money than the girls at these schools. You don't hear about elite high school girl basketball teams, but you do hear about teams like where LeBron James' son plays it and where uh, LeVar Ball's kids played it and boy AAU teams you don't hear about girl AAU teams because they ain't making no money like that basketball is business yeah and it's top heavy but the thing is like from the Washington Post article it's the fair and treatment are they they basically said they were worth, not Washington Post per se, but the NCAA said that they were worthless. Pull this article up. I mean, if they ain't making no money, it, it may sound harsh, but the truth is truth. If they're not making no money, they are worthless. Okay. If your car don't run, the engine fucked up, the transmission messed up, ain't it worthless? A little booty. I see you. Well, Joy has walked off for some odd reason. So I'm just sitting here chilling until she comes back. Yep. But yeah, worthless. It may seem harsh as I just said, but is it not? What word would y'all use for it if it's not worthless? Trash. It sucks. None entertaining. None profitable. All right. So pulling it up. Yeah, but what word would you use if you don't like worthless? But where would I like to use? Um, yeah. None profitable. Uh, Trash. Did you say trash? Yeah, or non profitable, boring, non exciting. Jeez. What word would you use for it since you don't like worthless? Um, I'm coming maybe. at it from a, from a strictly business standpoint aspect of it. I understand that. So let me screen share. I don't know. Worthless just seems so harsh, I guess. But because they true. work just as hard as the men basketball players work. So I don't understand why their treatment is being downplayed, even though the market is for the men, like you say. Well, the market isn't for the men. The women don't women don't support it. So there's an equal opportunity market. Women don't support it. I think women support it, but you asked about you asked because I didn't purchase anything besides the fact that I did attend a game. I had to buy a ticket there. They doing bad. Well, I'm um I'm using you as part of the collective of women that don't support it. The numbers show that women, not just you, but other women like you, don't support it. You're not if if women were supporting it, they wouldn't have not made a profit in the past twenty two years. So NC, so NCAA, which is basically in support of, what is that? College basketball, correct? Yeah. 
So their message to the women's basketball players were, you're worthless. This comment could be taken out of context. It could have a little bit more to it. But it's media. So, of course, they're going to use the words that's going to get people riled up, like, you're worthless. Why they say, did they, was it a video? No, it's just an article. Can you I read have, it? Okay, so basically, um, after I did read over it already, this lady is taking a stance against what the NCAA is saying about them. Well, how did, well, this so so this is her opinion that the NCAA said this, based on the the difference in training facilities and things like that. I don't think it's her opinion. Well, if you say it like that, I guess it will be her opinion, but they had to get it from somewhere. Well, the NCA never came out and said it's they're worthless, so that's her interpretation of it, so it's her opinion. In 2021, they couldn't come out and say they're worthless because they would get canceled. I'm saying it's worthless from a business standpoint, though. They can't say it, though. Okay, so yeah. right here it says... The women's basketball tournament ought to be an NCAA flagship event. What do you think they mean by NCAA flagship event? I guess she means a marquee event like the men's tournament. Anyway. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that statement. Yet it continues to be treated as some kind of cheap, subsidized junior varsity by the book cooking crooks. So basically, she's calling the NCAA book cooking crooks because they are benefiting off of the sweat and blood of, at this point, children running up and down the basketball court. So why is it that the women are being treated differently than the males? That's Because they don't make as much not. money as the men. But these, those same, these players, these male players are being robbed as well. Agreed. That's why they get better perps. My goodness. That's why boosters give them McDonald's bags full of cash. Okay, so all of these women ever oh wait, I'm sorry, all these women ever do is raise their arc of performance, which they show up and show out. So why can't they get benefits from that? They're not lacking. They got to work 10 times harder just to get nothing in return. I'll tell you what. The other night was the first night I ever watched the NCAA women's tournament game, and that was thanks to DeJanae Carrington. Shout out. You are gorgeous as fuck. I want to interview one day. Shout out to you. Yeah. But she was the only reason that I watched that game, and now I'd be following her into the pros, but I'm doing it just because I like her overall stuff. The stuff I learned about her outside of basketball has me like a real fan of this woman. Oh, so so now she never played fan. basketball you again. I would be a fan. You said who? So now you're a fan because you were complaining about her nails. I mean, I still think that she's acting wretched, even though she doesn't have to, because that's the society and culture that we're in they think ratchet shit is cool like this woman has two degrees two bachelors and a master's degree from stanford and baylor and she chooses to portray herself as ratchet at times it's my opinion I'm still a fan though yes side note with that what is it Dejeuner? carrington oh excuse me sir carrington no, that's her whole name, Daisy Noe Carrington. I, I know, sir. Thank you. Number 21. Um, are you going to let me finish? Is she going pro? <laughs> sir, thank don't you. Get, don't get jealous, boo. I'm just saying, you just got it all just, just on the top of your dome, just ready to answer. 21, Carrington. Not you to mention, on a side you note. practice, man. <laughs> on a side note, from that, he was very engaged in her Instagram live last night. He was very what? intrigued by the entertainment value of Dejeuner 
What's the last name again? Carrington. Carrington. Why are you telling all my business? Now, they did have me watch for about 45 minutes, so I ain't going to lie. Well, just, they, and they was doing a whole bunch of nothing, and I was just glued. He was glued. Tell him my business. I'm just saying. You stay busting me out. <laughs> Hello, everyone coming in. MTG TV and Miss Daly and Baby Bam and everybody else. So, so she called them some book cooking, cooking crooks. Now I never heard that before. That was, that was different. That was an insult. <laughs> But I guess she's speaking on the money side of things. She so can't like prove said, this. Bookkeeping crooks. Book yeah, yeah, book cooking crooks. Yeah, but she can't prove that though. It's been. What do you mean? She, if she could prove they were cooking the books, then they would have been having a fed charge against them. Well. Reminds me of the movie. What was that movie? Blue Chips. And uh -huh. the, exactly, and that and that's why I said the guys are bringing in so much money. They're able to give out houses and cars and tractors to these girls. The girls' programs aren't doing. The men, the men's programs are bringing in so much. The men's programs are bringing so much in. It funds the women's programs. The reason why I referenced that is because it was against, you know, it was against their policies and against the law to be buying these tractors for the little country guy and helping. Well, against the law, know. just against NCA rules, and that's not cooking the books. That's impermissible benefits. It's not so against the law. Think, so, what do you think she means by book cooking crooks? She's saying that they're changing the numbers to show that the women's programs are making more money than they actually are. So you heard that term before? Yes. Oh. Well, it's, it, it's a form of tax fraud and tax evasion. Because that's why people typically cook the books. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is the Washington Post. This is, I mean, she's writing it inside of this article. I'm sure it's an op-ed piece. Meaning it's not being read or it's not? Meaning it's an opinion editorial. She's letting it, it's, it's, she's letting it know, be known that this is an opinion piece. It's an opinion story. Do I'm she sure it on there like somewhere. that in the, in the article itself? It typically says it's somewhere at the beginning or the end of it, if it's an opinion piece or not. Yeah, unless I just need to read all the way through it, because here, the, it, it sounds like her opinion, but once again, she's with a replica um, newspaper, online news store, so. Oh, they're known for doing that, editorial opinion pieces. It's not uncommon. I know it's not uncommon, but that's, that's a big allegation to throw out, but come on now, you know, you know, you ain't gotta uh, have no proof, man. In, in in these days, look at Bill, look at Ti. We ain't gotta have no proof now. What is that gonna be the no go to now? No, just it's it's the now pointing out that you don't have to have any proof to just say salacious shit about people. Okay, so their arc of performance commands steady, steadily increasing viewership and graduate at a high well, excuse me, at a sky high rate of ninety three percent. So basically that the girls basketball team is graduating at a high percentage, even though they're still being called worthless. Four years for they that education got paid for thanks to the men's program. So how okay, explain that part then. How how does that Do you know how much tuition is a year for a non athletic student? That's a pre, it's a pretty penny. And they go for four years and graduate, and they don't have to pay anything. So you're saying based off the fact that 
because the man basketball team is so successful, we should just still ignore the fact that NCAA is not giving the women basketball team as much because the men basketball team is picking up the slack of the scholarship payments. No, if the women made more money, their facilities would be better. It's just that simple. Why am I fixing your shit up if you ain't making no money? If you're not bringing in revenue, why am I constantly investing in this thing that's not making me any money? It's just business sense. It sucks. We have a I bet ain't nobody. Go ahead. Cooking the books means using the counting tricks to make a company's financial results look better than they really are. Or worse. <laughs> he said, or worse. <laughs> Yeah, because the thing, you can manipulate it either way. You can make it look better. And if the NCA made, that wouldn't help the NCA to make it look like the women's program is making more money because then if they're making more money, then you should be investing in the product. That's why she she's saying they're making it look like they're not making any money. Mm. But if you look at the attendance and the tickets sold in the apparel compared to the men's counterparts, it's evident. I ain't doing that. Okay, so after she speaks about the 90% percentile and everything, she says, for which they get petty insults and treat cheap treatment. Is that fair? Petty I insults know. and cheap treatment. I, I couldn't the insults, I can say, yeah, they get insulted because they suck and can't dump. And but the 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 last part I can't speak to. I don't know if they get treated badly. I have to hear the women players actually say that. Mm. Okay, so let's see. And like I said, I have to pull something up where it's a direct quote from a woman. Oh, there go your girl right here on the corner. Dijanay? Yeah. Hey, boo. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they said at the infernal weight rooms, these women are were provided at their bubble site in San Antonio. A single rack of weights and a couple of yoga mats. That's all they get for their training. Now, after they upgraded it, after this complaint, when they upgraded it, can y'all show me a picture where women were actually in there working out? They want equipment that they don't even use. But shouldn't they have, still have the same accessibility as the males? The if, they're not going to use they it, if they're not going to use it, why? It costs money to move that equipment into that facility that you're not going to use. Okay, so yes, we did speak about this as well. You said, oh no, women don't need to uh, work out. Look at Dejanae. She doesn't look like she works out, but. I didn't say they didn't need to. I said they don't. They don't need to work out. No, I'm saying they don't. Cause, because after they upgraded the facilities, they, they put more shit in like they requested. And I saw nobody IG in or tweeting them working out. There was no cameraman in there showing you where the workout room was full of women working out. They asked for something that they literally didn't use. And you saw this for a fact. Did you see it? I know <laughs> you saw a I know you saw a picture of the one rec weight room and I know the NCA came out and apologized and they fixed it. They added more stuff. And I know on social media, I have not seen any trending videos of the women saying, yay, look at the new equipment. We and her getting it in. Didn't see this. And I wonder, was that just for one particular college or did that go across the board? No, that was for every women's team, all the 16 or 32 women teams that were in San Antonio. They complained to get something that they weren't going to use in the first place. 
So they so got they had to spend money to get some more shit shipped in, to rent some more shit, get it shipped in, set up, and all of that, pay for the rental, get it sent back, and they didn't use the equipment. So it's not for the colleges, it's just for the tournament. Yeah, it was for the tournament, for the women's tournament this year. Each each individual school has their own workout facilities. But this is for teams that were in the tournament, so it wasn't like it was supposed to be this big, elaborate thing anyway. You lose a game, you go home. Well, that still sucks because... So they basically complaining about the tournaments, not what's happening at their home schools. Yes. Oh, well, interesting then, because maybe I, okay, so I was misinformed. I'm thinking about just the college period, the schools and everything. They're just talking about when they go on the road for these tournaments and they're working just as hard as the men. They're, they're only getting the bag. Hard. They can't what? dunk. They're not work. They're They can't dunk. They're not working as hard. Just because they're not, if there's a lot of guys that's not dunking, so they deserve worse treatment than the next. They can alley-oop. They can shake niggas. They can Get a, their layups look exciting. They can shoot from half court. So women is just period point blank. Women is the reason. Women's sports is trash. Do you watch women's soccer? Soccer? Yeah. I have what I I didn't just sit there and just indulge in it. Mm. But I have passed it by a few times on the television. You watch women's softball? Like I said, if I breathe value on the TV, I might watch it. So I get where you're coming from. I'm not just so, sitting there so and watching. So that's a no again. Okay. Do you watch women uh, volleyball? I personally watch women volleyball. I bet you do. Shorts. Sir. Uh, shorts, yes. Sir, you know what? I pretty yeah. much figured that out already. I do I watch know. that. So you don't watch that either? Oh, okay. Um, you, do you watch women's tennis? You saying all that to say what, sir? Women don't watch the sports. They're saying they need equal pay and shit in. So if women aren't watching it, who women have to spend the money on the product in order for them to get better pay. And women aren't doing that. It's so more it's dads good. taking their daughters it's to the good. WNBA game than it is women fans sitting there cheering. So the democratic, you just saying women, period, if you guys are not out there spending your money, and if I ask you if you watch this and you're not, they still don't deserve the same equal pay as a man. Based on the fact that you're speaking to one woman that's saying, nah, I probably don't even watch it like that. that well, was not you can, you, can, you, you can drop the link and I can ask any woman in the chat personally if they support these sports as well because again y'all are all the collective you keep just saying one person but the WNBA has not turned a profit in 22 years so it's not just you women in general aren't supporting it otherwise they will be making a profit now I did support when women like China and the uh, weave Michigan. company is making a profit you said who the, the weave the weave company is making a profit. The nail company is making a profit. The WNBA ain't. They trash. So speaking of that, da, uh, what's his name? Dejmon Green? Green? Oh, Draymond Green. Look at you. You just got that. No, I'm not talking about your girl no more, sir. Calm down. I'm, we're moving on to um, Draymond Green now. Okay, I know it's D's involved. I hear the word talking about somebody else now. Let's move on. So he recently came out and spoke on the wages that women in basketball wasn't receiving either. So how do you feel about a man that has something to say about it? That nigga is a simp. I don't know why I talk to you. I don't know why I talk to you. How much money has Draymond Green given to improve these women's pay 
What I'm does that mean? He could make a large I donation to the him. WNBA. Uh, unfortunately, when I reached out to him to join us on this panel, he was a little busy, so I don't know what he feels about the situation. But that nigga ain't gave him nothing. Him. Yes, I can. That nigga ain't gave them nothing, and he's trying to get some of that WNBA pussy. Let me pull him up. Let me let me see. Which quarter? Uh oh. Ooh, that was it's loud. women out there like these and they Carrington in the pros. <laughs> What's going on, Eat Eat? <laughs> but let's, because at first wasn't there a um, a situation where people let me pull it up before I speak too soon that he was against them making the money that he thinks they need. I mean, you got uh, he's in the same business as these women, so he's probably seeing things in a different way than we're seeing it. Even though you're claiming that they're not making the NCA money or the NBA, not really, but they still out there working just as hard as anybody else. I know I couldn't get out there every day, you know, hustling and bustling. Hey, Amen. If the men that own the WNBA said, you know what, I'm sick of this griping. I ain't making a profit anyway. I'm closing this business down. It would be a lot of women out of work. They would have to leave the country. And you know what they ain't going to do in other people's country? Say, y'all need to give us more money because we're working just hard as the men. Because you know what would happen then? They would kick their American asses out of their country. And then they would not have a job playing basketball. Getting paid anything. Okay, so let's look at Mr. What what is his stats and his position in the NBA looking like? Is he worthy of speaking on something like this? All right. He he a three time champ, but he ain't he ain't no superstar or nothing like that. He's a good player. Role player. A good role player. Yeah, he's a yeah, he's a three time champ though. But it's not like he's a superstar. You know, he played for Golden State. But when you think of Golden State, you think of Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, then him. Okay, so the headline is, Jermon Green says women athletes should take action instead of complain about pay gap. Yeah, they took so, it out of context. Oh, what? Wait a minute. You what said what? Um, from the headlines from Yahoo Sports. I should have went to something else, but I went to Yahoo Sports. No, that's fine. And, but it comes from the Complex magazine. So he says, Draymond Green says, women athletes should take action instead of compl- um, take action instead of complain about pay gap. Okay, I got you. I don't know what he means by take action, but what do you think he means by take action? What can they do? I mean. That's what I'm saying. He didn't tell them how to take action. He just talking. He's simping. He did it. He's Derrick Jackson. He is Derrick Jackson and them these females right now. And at the is end of the day, he still make $40 million a year and steal his business partners with LeBron James. So he don't have no room. There's a comment from Big Kane that said the only women's sport that should get equal pay is tennis. How do you feel? I agree. Serent, I agree. The women in tennis bring in big money. They bring in just as much or equal to the money as the men. Because men, look at what Serena and Sharapova and uh, what's the the Asian oh, chick's girl. name? Yeah, they, they they're much CTV. Naomi Osaka, yeah, they're must see TV. So I agree with that, Big King. That's why them women, but they do get their type of money. That's why they ain't complaining about their pay wage. You've never heard the women in tennis say, we're not making as much money as the men because they've always been bringing in their type of money. Yeah, as you think about it, um, is it more of a and that, they're able to leave tennis and get endorsements, mainstream endorsements. 
Is what that more NBA player, player doing it? Man, is if that, you got the look, you got the look. It doesn't matter. All the women in the in WNBA are in butch. If you got the look, then you can get endorsements. No, if what I'm popular asking if is, you're good. But what I'm asking is it is because tennis already started off as a feminine sport. Is that the reason why of its success? Because you gotta understand the NBA, WNBA. No. No. I think it's just because those women are good at what they do. And they got on short skirts, too. I was trying to sway away from speaking about that, sir. Mr. Volleyball Watcher. I but am. Gonna... I support women's volleyball. Unlike so you, woman. Like sex sales. Unlike you, woman, who trying to say they should get equal pay, but you don't even support it. I mean, I'm not out there like they are. You ain't putting your money where your mouth is. Go That's support the WNBA. If you want them to make more supporter. money, spend more money with their lead. I respect what they do. Just because I don't spend money with them, don't, not necessarily saying I don't believe that should make more money for the things that they're out there actually doing. Like That's a hard, that's a hard job. That's a lot. If you believe in something, you put your money where your mouth is, do you not? I guess, but that's still not no reason for them not to get to the plateau that they need as far as the um, pay rate, I mean, pay gap, because old Joy is not sitting up there. So my yeah. is sitting in the nosebleed at some damn um, Coliseum. Like, would Those, you would would you buy your daughter a WNBA jersey tomorrow? Support the league. When she wants to ask. No, you buy it for it. Just support the league. Be like, here, girl, women empowerment. We gotta we gotta support this league to help our sisters out. They out there working just as hard. Y'all won't even wear the shit that represents. Here, girl, just wear this. Yes, that's what dads do with football jerseys and basketball jerseys. Because they support their team. They support their league. Okay, so Draymond Green. And you yeah. said they took it out of context what he said. So I don't know. I didn't he said No, I, I was to... at, that's why I asked you to reread the title because it was going in and out. Oh, I'm sorry. So did you hear me when I read the title again? Yeah, when you reread it again, I said, yeah, he did say that, but I said he didn't put his money where his mouth was either, and he didn't give them any ways to take action. He didn't say shit. So they said the three-time All-Star made the controversy comment during a recent video interview with Keith Burke. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So he just made the statement. It was Was it so obviously it was controversy because it's plastered all over social media. Do you think it was so outlandish? Was it worth being plastered everywhere? Or you think it's an underlying issue? They're trying to get these women riled up. And if I were the men that owned the WNBA, I would shut it down. I got time to play with you folks. Go find work elsewhere. Good luck to you. So I guess Green, he said, Green insisted he fully supported higher pay for women athletes, but believed they simply weren't doing enough to achieve that goal. While not spending, he ain't spending his money on the product neither. When he goes around to these schools, he's not pulling up with boxes of WNBA jerseys, passing them out to the little girls at the school. He's not doing this. But you see how vague it is that they're saying supported he supports higher pay for women athletes. It's not really putting putting the focus on the WNBA. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about all the women's sports too. You can apply that same method to all of them. If y'all think they deserve equal pay, y'all need to go out and start supporting it. Oh, this so that is they can prove life. that the money is there. We spending the money. The people are coming to support. They're buying the apparel. So why aren't we making as much money as the men? 
<laughs> oh, shit. I mean, sorry. That is true. Big K said, if you're not bringing in the dollars, you don't get a raise, just like every other job. And I can second that notion, honey. I already know. I that goes a- for all the women's sports, except for volleyball. The women need to get paid, but there aren't any professional volleyball leagues. But in they college, say- they got top-notch facilities. They say- this is the probably the reason why I got kind of sticky icky, because he was like, I'm really tired of seeing them complain about the lack of pay. Oh my goodness. Because they're doing the doing themselves a disservice by just complaining. He sounded green. That's cold word for how about y'all say y'all ain't gonna play and go on strike. That's cool, but you ain't gonna play if you go on strike. And, and this is the WNBA S- is not making money, they wouldn't give a fuck anyway. And this is the answer to your question when you said, well, he's not giving them, you know, telling them how to do the steps. He had an answer for that. He said, they're not laying out steps that they can take to change that. It's coming up as a complaint because the people that can change it are just going to continue to say, well, the revenue isn't there. So if you don't bring in the revenue, we can't help. Can't help your pay. Joy, I just gave the women more declarative actions and steps than him. I said, y'all can get yeah, women to start exactly. buying the apparel and shit. And I also said they can strike. He didn't say either one of those. He just oh, said, yeah. take he care. Your ass, though. Look, he's an ass. He said, because everyone says, we support women. We support women's empowerment. We support women in the workplace. We don't just... <laughs> Now I see why it was controversy. Cause, and then he hit it with the blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> that's how it is, though. They're just complaining. Oh, shit. He really went in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got an audio. You want to listen to the audio? Go ahead. He is simp, though. <laughs> you don't need to do something. You think something. he's playing? You don't need to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to get some man. It's it's some dimes in the WNBA. Like um Drika. Who? What's her name? What's her name? Drika? Oh. What's her name? I don't know. The chick that went to Notre Dame. I'm gonna think of her. Skylar Diggins, fine as hell. Candace Parker. I don't know if she still plays. Candace Parker. It's, it's some hotties. You're talking about the one you was talking about. Daquan. What's her name? Dejane. Carrington, oh, name. Sorry. Put some respect on her name. You know, and I was hoping people didn't take it the wrong way. Obviously, some people did. Whatever. Uh, you know, if you can't read what I said and understand, that's your personal business. But um, you know, I, I'm 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 really tired of seeing them complain about the lack of pay because because. They're doing themselves a disservice by just complaining, you know. And they're not and, just complaining, huh? They're, they're not just complaining, really. But they are because they're, they're not laying out steps. In. Get them together. They can take to change that. And Put so, them on the solo screen as a complaint because the people that can change it, Hello, they're man. just going to continue to say, "What well, a revenue isn't there." Click the on revenue it. Isn't there. So if you don't bring in the revenue. We can't up your pay. They're going to keep using it. Go layout. Sure as that is, that. It's an excuse because everyone says we support women. We support women in poverty. We support women in the workplace. We, we do this for women. We do X for women, blah, blah, blah. And everyone uses it to their advantage. Yet these women are not using these people that are saying those very things to their advantage. So then it just becomes a complaint that falls on deaf ears. Uh, that's the end. Yeah, but he didn't get them niggas no steps. He just trying to rile up the troops. Yeah. He still, he still didn't give them a plan. He said they ain't got no plan, but he didn't offer one. And he sounds a, a bit agitated, too. I think he was trolling. 
Yeah, he was agitated. Becky was trying to check him. He was like, oh, not in public. But he can't say that because he's an athlete, can lose endorsements, and yada, yada, yada. And you say oh. he's a partner with uh, LeBron? Yep. Mm. That's an interesting thing then for him to say. Maybe he, maybe he's in the background speaking to a lot of these women and probably telling them the same thing and probably just out in the forefront just say, you know what? I'm sick of hearing this. Ma'am, he's trying to get pussy. He did not tell them what to do, and he has not donated any money to the WNBA. It's simple, that simple. He hadn't done it. We don't know if he did donate to, to them. Google it. Jesus, you're going to use Google Loop up now for real. Well, I'm just saying, I, I know this nigga had. I'm assuming he, well, I'm assuming he hasn't, but chances are, I bet I'm right, he hadn't done it. He would have mentioned it. Niggas love to pat themselves on the back. Let's see, Draymond. Let's see what Google will say about you, sir. Draymond Green. My name, Draymond. We got USA Today that says Draymond Green is missing the point on equality in women's pay. He a simp, but I'm not going to let them bash my brother. Is Draymond Green African? No, he just ugly. You know what? I'm and he gonna... looked like that dude that went viral on the beam. He just ugly, man. Not a nigga ain't African. No, I wasn't. I, I mean, I was asking for a reason because I seen. Um, nigga, hold up. Here. What African have you ever met with a name like Draymond? I mean, that's like with a D. African Draymond Draymond. Man, that shit Draymond. sound African American. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fuck <laughs> the sound African. That uh, shit sound like it, it's from your local hood. Not the local hood. Draymond with a D. The D ain't silent. You got to pronounce it. Okay, so I was looking for a video of it. So I guess Angel McCarthy, I don't know what nationality she is, she claps back at Draymond Green and said, Do your research. That's Do your good, research, sir. That's a good uh hey, K, Joker. comment. The W the, all the NBA players don't get the same pay. It's a good comment. And they work just as hard. These niggas getting dunked on by LeBron in practice. <laughs> Just in practice, huh? And they ain't make, and they ain't make it as much as the bruh. You hear them niggas complaining? No. But they obviously making way, I mean, the women must be way, making way less than, you know, the bench that's warmers. Because, that's because they bring in way less. Man, the 15th player on the Lakers could beat the entire WNBA league one on one. He beat all three hundred of them women one on one, just line them up. And this nigga don't start or nothing. He don't even play. Who? I'm saying if you take any bench player off an of NBA team and put him one on one versus the entire WNBA squad. He is going to win 300 to zero. 300 to zero? You going to zero. Hard. Can beat the entire roster of the W. the 15th nigga on the bench. You're going too far. So you don't think Carmelo Anthony right now, he almost 40, can beat the entire WNBA roster one-on-one. -on -one. And Carmelo comes off the bench. They – now, okay, so you went from – the pay that they don't deserve to pay to where you would really believe that they'd sit up there and just get dunked on and just yes 
I think they could take them. So you and think, I'm not just saying it as a woman. So you think Carmelo Anthony would lose to anybody in the WNBA? You're just saying that. You don't believe that either. I definitely do. Chris Powell could beat anybody in the WNBA. All 300 of them. And he's short and old, but he's strong as shit. He can body every last one of them women up. Like he do the grown men in the NBA. I don't know about that, sir. I think you just being... I just nope. think you going way too far now. Kyle Kuzma can destroy the entire WNBA league. He's a bench player. Lou Williams, bench player. Next, you're going to save Michael Jordan. He old, so they may get him just on it. They can't get LeBron. But you, you started off saying that the guys on the bench could yes. be – whole NBA. Now you went to the major players of the NBA. I kept going. Kyle Kuzma is a bench player. The All-Star game. So you, listen, the All-Star games don't count when they have the the men and women together. Who have you heard say they go on the WNBA All-Star weekend? You know what? I'm just saying. Take care of this for me for a little bit. Just where second. have you heard? Oh, look at that little booty. Okay, oh then, Joy. Got the slits in your jeans. I think I like it. Yeah, that it, 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 he's 300 to zero. I don't care who you take. Carmelo old and he come off the bench. Hold on a second. I, I think Anthony Bennett, and you don't even know who that is. He ain't in the league no more. Could beat the entire WNBA roster. Hello, Danny Biker Chick and all. Brittany Griner will kill some. The Joker Comedy Studio, who would Brittany Griner beat in the NBA? Now, keep in mind, she tall and all of that against women. Who is she going to body up in the W in, in the NBA? Could she go against Kevin Durant? Nah, wingspan too long. Who could she take? Could she take Lou Williams? Nope, he too quick. Ain't got a step back jumper. I know that um, it's meant that, hey, thank you, uh, Danny. Danny Biker, chick. Two, two, twerk. Hey. Okay, JJ. Listen, we're having a it's a sensible conversation based off the fact that I have to calm him down for attacking the WNBA. Anybody can hit the link if they want. If they have a difference of a, uh, agreement with myself or with Money Boy, and please have a disagreement with Money Boy because he thinks he know everything. I believe that the WNBA should, at least they should consider giving them a little bit money, more money. Why and not buying any type okay. WNBA apparel or going to a game? Hey, you MC. Foolish shit. And you like Draymond as- Green. What? You like Draymond Green. You full of shit. You just talking. <laughs> Why are you going to call me out? I'm, I'm not. You, three, I'm you, you like, you four hours away from an L.A. Sparks game. You ain't going. I think Vegas may have an expansion W. Do they have a WNBA team now? No. No. I think they do. I don't think think so. Somebody just got an expansion team for something because they got the hockey, they got the football, and something else. It's not basketball. I think it is. Google this. I'm I'm Googling now, sir. They got know. some other pro expansion team. Still ain't gonna go. I don't know. I might. <laughs> oh, look so it. they do have an expansion team. I see something called Las Vegas Aces. Yep, that's okay. Them. So I, I had. So I, I had do a know everything. From, um, 
from the snowman in the building, Mr. Cocaine. So Say, I do know everything, though. I haven't got the chance to read what's the aces. Give me a second, because I heard about the aces. What man makes as much as Oprah for talk shows? None. Since when, though? On what, during what year and what time? Because Oprah is in, a, is in a different... Oprah done had it on lock for about 20 years. You don't hear Conan O'Brien complaining. Oh, you might be you might be right, sir. The Las Vegas Aces. I don't know. Is there, is there a time frame for um Oprah? Because Oprah hasn't been a talk show host in a while. So does that still count? Because I thought Jerry was um told Oprah still does have a show on her channel. Talking about prime time. Child, it's on her thing. channel. She's just not on those other networks anymore. She ain't on NBC no more, but she still does it on her channel. I think I've seen JVR McGee mama up there. Shout out to DJ Nate Karens. You are the real yeah. MVP. We have oh. switched conversations. Did you kick me out? Damn. I did not kick you out, did I? Oh, no, okay. I thought you had me you trying to start some. Ooh, woo, you was trying to start some mess. You was out of control. The Joker Comedy Studio, those men have to get embarrassed and dunked on and bullied by Anthony Davis and LeBron James and the likes of those type people. They deserve to get paid for that embarrassment. Absolutely, they do, sir. They have families as well. They have to be gone for six months out of the year. They deserve it. WNBA players have 26 games or something like that. These men play 82. Plus, if you go to the finals, you end up playing 100-something. Come on, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, so, Las Vegas Aces. You will not support them at all. You ain't going to buy no jersey. You ain't going to buy tickets. Who are these? First of all. <laughs> See, look at you. <laughs> who exactly. aunties are these? No, but I think this is an old picture because I think that is, ain't one of, the, one of them look like Javion McGee mama. This ain't no. This is not. This is old. This you mean JaVale McGee? No, it's not JaVale, old. JaVale, yeah, I said Javion. I just gave him a whole new name. No, that's not old. That's not up. That is not 2021. Boy, stop playing. This is in vogue. What are you talking about? See, and that's why they don't deserve equal pay because women don't even buy into it. You looked at these women and you said, who aunties are these? Because they look like like they played already. Because their product is a joke. No, I didn't say all that, sir. You don't take them seriously. Don Staley, the coach for South oh, Carolina, the coaches? Finals, I yes. can't believe these are the coaches. They, they need a... Mm-hmm. You're on the coach's ass, man. <laughs> but they're former players, too. I figured out that's why they looked at familiar. Hmm. She look like she'll beat a nigga ass. Have you ever watched the other since Lisa Leslie and them play? Have you watched the females' dream team game? The big fives? Yeah, since then, have you watched one? Why are y'all trying to put me on the spot? Because you are every woman. First of all, I am not Whitney Houston, and I'm not every woman. Where is this article that I was? This is the reason why I pulled it up. So it was Vegas Aces. Uh, you need to be going to season tickets or ticket prices, ma'am, and get you some. Now that I know that they plan. Okay, so Asia Wilson is part of the Aces. Oh, yeah, she's tall. She's cool. She's marketable. Yeah, she is super damn right here. Yes. She, she's like the female Yao Ming. My God. 
But LeBron would still beat her. I don't know. She's used to playing against women, not men, ma'am. What does that mean, sir? Men are stronger you and still faster. The NBA, if they was to become co-ed, absolutely not. I don't want to see women getting dunked. I say, man, it would be like a like NBA Jam all through the game. Where where are my my um my wrenches? Somebody blocked cocaine. I don't need to name ten current WNBA players right now. I don't feel but like it. Why are you trying to block cocaine for speaking the truth? You know, you won't even support this product. Because. And you can't name none, but they equal pay. I bet you can name 10 NBA players. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> y'all ain't shit. Let me stop screen sharing because y'all over here acting. <laughs> y'all Draymond Green in out here, babe. Draymond Green is. is... No, you man. name? Can you name? Can you name? No, I can't. No, I can't because I don't support the product because it's trash. I do know DJ Nate character will be going pro, so I can say I know one. I know Skylar Diggins, Candace Parker. I knew Maya Moore, but she retired for some nigga that she got out of jail. Wait, what? Diana Tarazi. I could probably name 10. Diana Tarazi, um, Candace Parker. That's about it. But that was about seven. That's seven more than you know. Well, I know. Oh, the Asia Wilson chick. So, yeah. Mm. Hmm. I'm yeah. looking for her because I know didn't Lisa play against one of the NBA players? I remember and she that. lost. Nigga, the only time she beat a man was on Martin. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over it now. You was out of control. That's it, man. Look, I'm just sorry. No, I can't name ten current current because shit. I like I go to some shit like Lisa Leslie, Leslie fucking Cheryl Swoop. I name some old shit. So Who I know the product. Oh, Brittany Griner. I forgot Brittany Griner. So I'm up to nine. So how is it no. that I know more of the women's product than you? Who saying they need more money? Why I you keep calling it. the women product though? Because it's a, it's a business. It's like. Like it's cattle. a business. They treat the men like cattle too. The men are treated like product. That's why they're able to make forty million dollars a year because they're bringing in billions. And then the TV deals that they're getting the NBA for being so fucking good is bringing in thirty, forty, fifty billion at a time. You can't compare apples to oranges. If I have to keep investing in a business that's not making me a profit, why do I want it? The point of a business is to make money and not lose it or break even. You get tired of breaking even. They said they expect for an NBA team in Las Vegas. No, they got a WNBA team, though. If the, if the NBA gets another expansion team, they're going to go to Seattle first. They're going to go back to Seattle. I just want to see what all this revenue and all this is going to happen when it does all this happen in Vegas. Ain't nobody going. Not just that, even with the uh, new Raiders stadium. Oh, the Raiders are going to boom simply because people from all over the country come in anyway. And then when their team is in Vegas, killing two birds with one stone, you can party and support the team. And they're still going to have that Oakland contingency driving down. But it's in such an awkward place. But I guess it yeah. don't matter. Yeah, they'll get used to it. Yeah, because I remember the first, before the Staples Center, when they had the Coliseum, that was smack in the middle of Inglewood in the hood hood. So, you, yeah. Because the Raiders yeah. Stadium is just somewhere just sitting in an awkward spot. Like, free money in an awkward spot, though. It's not, on, it's not by Fremont, though. 
But I'm saying Fremont is in the awkward spot. What in Vegas isn't in the awkward spot? But you got, but Fremont don't count because that's like, that's the downtown of any city. Every city in any state city, downtown is just always somewhere just awkward. That don't count. You always got an awkward place where um, downtown is and every state got a god dog, Martin Luther King Street. Say a lot. Is Memphis in the is Memphis downtown in the awkward spot? Bill? Bill Memphis yeah. downtown. It's like dead smack in the middle of every hood. It's you know what minute drive from awkward everywhere. To me, when I moved out there, what was so awkward to me was that god dog uh fair. Oh yeah. Me I'm too. just like no, another place that's awkward as hell in an awkward spot is the uh, Graceland. Yeah, it's White Haven. I still don't know why they haven't moved that place. How you gonna move the whole Grace? That's the whole house. What they gonna move the whole house? Yes. No. But you know what? Graceland has no murders or anything on that property. So really, you know, stay away that's from there. The ratchet part of life over there. You talking about ratchet? They stay away from Graceland. Did you ever visit Graceland? Yes, I did once when my um older son, for some reason, he was fixated on Elvis. Don't ask me why or how, because I didn't deal with Elvis. That's a good brother. He wants to expand his cultural view. Right, the project's like right next door. Like that's how I used to feel. Like, but it was booming. Them folks was out there. Well, I mean, technically, when FedEx Farm was built, the projects was right behind it, but mm. they gentrified the place. No, you know how I, I was ratchet before, too. I'm reformed. But I remember when I used to go, I used to park behind there. Remember the parking in uh, at Bill? You can go in a little dirt part of the uh, parking. And little, uh, the little, the people, little smokers be back there talking about they watch your car. Yeah. Five dollars. They watch your one fuck. They watch your car for real. I ain't. They didn't move my shit. It wasn't valet. Now I ain't say it was valet. I ain't say take the keys and drive my shit. No, nah, they but they. <laughs> they be out there. I, I kept the cool for you, Miss. I, thank you. Here you go, another Joy, I would probably go to a WNBA game before you so I can support DeJanae Carrington. That's all you want to support? Will you, who do you think she's going to sign with? Who do you think is going to sign her? Have you been following her that much? No, she just announced yesterday that she was going pro, so she got to go to the draft. We know in like a couple of weeks because they process as quick as fuck. They'll be starting their season up within the next two months. Is their season um, shorter than the NBA's? It's 30 games, and the NBA cut 10 games off this year, so they may have like 20 to 25. Yeah, that no was sellout. There, huh? no, no sellouts on record yet. Not even for the finals. Oh, with ticket sales? Yes, for the WNBA women. That well, go buy them off. I don't like the product, ma'am. That's why I'm saying they don't deserve equal pay. They can't even get me. Are you going to buy the product? They, with and, and she damn near needs to be the face of the league because she trending right now and niggas is watching her. They, they might want to market the shit out of her to the world. She may help boost ratings. So if you can project where she would go, where you would like her to be? I can't because I don't Oh, she would need to be in the L.A. market, definitely, because she really? went to Stanford. She's like a hometown girl, but I don't know if L.A. was sorry enough to draft her or how they feel if she's the best person in the draft. But she got the tongue ring and shit. She wore the big hoop earrings. She tatted up the colorful nails. Pull this lady up so we can get a visual. Yes. Look at <laughs> Please stop rubbing your hands. You gotta say, I guarantee every man in the comment section is gonna follow her. There's your name. How, how, how many D's, how many J's, how many A's? D I J O N A E underscore. Nigga, didn't we? 
I may be spelling it wrong though, but it's Hell yeah, you know, Johnny Blaze and all kind of shit. What the hold hell? Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And he said underscore, sir. I don't need to go to her Instagram. I was just gonna pull her up on Google Loo. <laughs> I'm going, we're going to IG. Nigga, she's he said athlete. underscore. I, bro, I'm not on Instagram, sir. <laughs> you can you can go on IG. You can go on IG. Cause that's what it's gonna do if you Google it. It's gonna take take you to an IG link. So just just please give me the lady's name. D I J O N A I underscore on IG. I thought I'm just gonna. We don't need the underscore. I'm just gonna pull her up on Google. That's fine. And then it's just still gonna give you an IG link and click that. Lady fine. She ratchet. She, she ratchet. is. But America. I, mean, I was just thinking so. I don't think you know how I feel about it. I said I don't think she's ratchet. You said you think she is because of everything. I say it's the well, size. I, of I love it. I love it though. I would marry that woman. I would drink that woman's bath water with you, a straw. You did say you would choose you a 21 year old. You did say she that. 20, she 23. All right, so there go her 12 inch lashes. You, you gonna click on a picture? Which one would you like for me to click on? Hey, sir? Just go through them, man. Michelle, show. I, I just want to see where you, where you, why you feel like she ratchet. Oh, oh no, that was not there. I was about to say. And I love the I love the fact that she's able to hoop in this shit. So she on the court just ratchet and balling. This shit is sexy. But you know she's not the first one that was doing that though. I don't care. I like it on her. Okay, sorry. Excuse Even me. though I dislike it, I like it on her. Excuse me. And she now has me interested in the game and she should be compensated for it. So I will support anything that she endorses. Or does. She's a I very small mind. frame woman though. Yes. And yeah. it to how tall is she? Don't know, don't care. Oh my god. Maybe I should have went to the, the Instagram because they don't really show too much of nothing. Because you gonna get, go back to the all part of Google and then it'll tell you it'll show your IG. Just click on it. There's a computerized version of IG. Oh, I can't believe you got me. Oh, I'm helping advertise this product. Uh, see, I am doing more for the WNBA game than you or Draymond. And y'all saying they deserve equal pay. So, Link, so now, now. <laughs> so I'm an advocate for the Draymond. WNBA. We're working together now, sir. No, because y'all just talking shit. I'm at least trying to get, I'm, I'm giving their players name recognition already. DJ, I should be on your PR team. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your boy. Advertising or something. Like he hurt, like somebody hurt his feelings. Hold on. I put on my IG that she's the reason I watched my ever first women's tournament basketball game. She deserves that. Wouldn't have watched it without her. Now the now the girl she played against in that game, the uh Beckers let chick. Now I'm watching the next game for her too, cause she put up buckets. She scored like thirty some points. Katie Beckers, chick that played for UConn. Oh, uh, shout out to um Instagram. Let me know somebody just signed into my account. Duh, it was me. But shout out to their security team. Appreciate it. But you also know, like, programs like UConn, their girls aren't complaining about their training structure because UConn has a winning program. And so the alumni support that team because they're successful. Same way with the women's team at uh, UT. She's a Jesus lover. San Diego. You know, all the, you know all the thoughts love Jesus. I'm sorry, decent name. It's just a fact. Oh, she's part of Black Lives Matter. Interesting. Aren't they all? 
Oh, she's an Instagram model. She says business inquiry. Oh, shout out to you. Ooh, man. You got oh shit now. And look who I see, followed by interesting. Champagne Champ not no. Drake Yo, is man. yes, and Drake follows. Oh, my name pops up. Yes, Mr. Oh shit. Trey I am Trey the, the motherfucking star. Hey, <laughs> but <laughs> You front and center right here, all up in it. Look at you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. PR team shouted. I wonder who her mama and her daddy is. Uh oh. She's, uh, def uh, she's uh, definitely uh, mixed. I no, I don't. I wasn't saying that she was mixed or not. Click on the one where it looked like she doing the busted chatter. It's just her birthday picture. Sir, I don't have time for you. Yes, you do. I am promoting this woman. The product? And the WNBA. I'm promoting the product. And you hate. You ain't <laughs> saying who auntie is that. First of all, she's someone's child. Still could be an aunt. What the hell? I don't know. She got these little kitty heels on, though. She did borrow those shoes from her auntie. Damn. Hard on her. She's Where's a the kitty rest of I know she is. That's why I will be a fan. So that's why I'm saying they at least need to market the attractive women like that. And she got game. She can actually oh, play. She's not just a pretty face. A uh, Megan the Stallion moment? Uh oh. Because she's ratchet and I love it. Yeah, she's definitely in the ratchet realm. No, not really. I wouldn't give her no ratchet. Man. She just looks like a young girl living her life. A hot girl. And she know how to and she know how to ball. That's about it. I wouldn't girl. give her ratchet though. Man, look at them nails. Quit lying. The girl got three freaking degrees. Yes. That's she awesome. She still feels the need to be. Yes, I love that part about it. But she's, I hate the fact that she feels like she needs to be a city girl. But it attracts me so. But you got I to. She's the in perfect this, package. Yeah, because in this basketball world, they quickly label somebody a, 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 you know, a butch. Without her. Without her parents. So without she's not her good. acting, she without her, Negro. that's why she mixed with who? Negro. Oh, okay. Without her, I won't say she's acting ratchet because I hadn't seen her act ratchet. But without her dressing act ratchet and portraying ratchetness, she's still fine as shit. Her daddy looked like the dude that was on uh, Duke I Ellington. Got the kitchen game. <laughs> That nigga like Duke Ellington. No, nah, he looked like he looked like Tony Thompson from <laughs> like he about to start doing a uh run a man or something. Her so sure, parents are young. Her parents look like maybe they in they early about to hit forties. That's cool beans. She do be having her moments though. She gotta live. She got a who? She got to live. Oh, I ain't. You, not hear, you do this not hear me. You do not hear me disparaging this woman, do you? Because if you, if I leave it to you, you, you made me believe it was just all ratchet shit going on. No, you did not. You are not hearing me disparage this woman. What's I'm up, saying I, I am promoting her. So apparently, I don't think her ratchetness is bad. I just think she's above it. I think she don't need to have 12 colors on her nails. I don't think that. That was what my big that, that was my main complaint. Was it not? Was that not my main complaint? It's gonna be worse now because now she's gonna be out of college. And making and making a and making real money playing WNBA ball. Life changing money. That they're complaining about saying we need more life changing money. But she's gonna be unlike the other women, she fine as fuck, so she's gonna be able to endorse anything. 
Or she can turn into an IG model if all else fails. I just hope she don't go to like uh, Fashion Nova. Hey, if they paying her uh, the bag, why not? So we got a um, an off topic question, but of course they didn't write the question. So now we got to sit here and wait for them to write the question. Why they can't just hit the link? Ah, drop the link. Drop it again, ma'am. I oh, dropped. It's still I sitting know. there. Okay. Never mind. I digress. Pay no, them. Uh, Those Rob, sisters Rob, are getting paid, Rob. Rob they're paid them sisters. They are getting paid, Rob, but which one of them sisters that play ball deserve ten million a year? Name one of them. <laughs> I ain't gonna even go to LeBron range where they're making forty million a year. Just which one of them deserve ten million a year? Yeah, I figured that came. You always there. He said, can pl blind people see then in their dreams? That was very off topic, sir. Thanks, McCain, for that. McCain was, had one of the knock knock jokes. I don't know. So that, that's uh, one of them jokes that you think about for hours and be like, damn, that was deep. Just shit. <laughs> okay, then we got two of you guys that would really think about this question. Then, if these and they get drafted by the Las Vegas Aces, you know where I'm coming to. Oh, child, and you still ain't gonna go to a game, you know? I'm like, nah, I'm straight. <laughs> you don't want to watch this shit either. It all depends on how much the tickets are. They lost the blow when Gigi died, man. Now, she would have made the WNBA League pop. Who is that? Who her, Gigi Wright. You might want to check the connection settings in the Google Home app. Didn't. <laughs> wasn't that like two hours ago? <laughs> Do we say the trigger word? <laughs> Your Google Home just popped in. The motherfucker, the feds. <laughs> that was like two hours ago. You're like, oh shit, it just turned off. Oh well. We got a swoops and a Kansas Parker fan in the building. Swoops ain't played since 95. No, I'm just playing. It's been a minute though. I think she's a coach for one of the teams though. And she was balling though. Sexy chocolate hooper. I was gonna, I was gonna block cocaine, but now I think I'm gonna just block Big Kane because he said, "And if they were born blind, how do they know what things they look looking at? Things they look at? Cause they ain't never seen them." <laughs> so that's funny. It's very funny because if they've never seen shit before, how do they know? How do they know what they're looking at? They dream. It doesn't have a name to them. You are. <laughs> well, I don't know, Big K, because they do know what a story is. They do know what a sidewalk is without ever seeing these things so, at the TV and all of these things. So I don't know. They know they have a name. I, I don't know. I guess they would know per se because they know when they're on the sidewalk versus the hardwood floor. Based off the sound. But then again, how can they picture it if they haven't seen it? I don't, it's just what they do. I don't know. You know, Big Kane be sitting around at this is one of them icebreaker questions. Man, that that was a, that's, meetings. he just set us all up with that to my off topic. That's a, <laughs> yeah. a high ass question. That's one of them just you ask why you have. It's like, what's the keys to life? Well, yes, we got someone responding. Nanya, thank you for joining us. It's called Braille. So is things being drawn out in Braille? No, Braille. But I know is you just... can read with Braille. I know you can read the words, but his question was if they if somebody's blind and they go to sleep, how do they dream and what are they looking for? 
See, I don't have time for this. Yeah, it ain't no encryption in Braille that show them what a car or a giraffe look like. Rob said, who is the female LeBron? Hopefully, DJ Carrington with her six ass. First of all, sir, 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 focus, okay? Please. I said hopefully her. Not hopefully. That question is for present time. It would probably have to be Becky Hammond or Diana, well, Diana Taurasi, or Diana Taurasi, but she's getting old. She's like in year 16 like LeBron. So, yeah, the, actually, that's who the media has called the female LeBron, Diana Taurasi. You just added two his, more to your seven that you are. Oh, no, Curry. Well, I already said, well, I, Becky Hammond Curry. is the, no, Becky Hammond, I take that back because Becky Hammond has been retired. It would be the Diana Taurasi. Becky Hammond is an NBA coach. Diana? Yeah, Diana Taurasi. She's like a European chick. Mm. Now, yeah. Rob, would that be? She got uh, as many championships and MVPs and shit like LeBron. Yep. Oh, so you guys are basing this off of rings and not performance? Well, no, shit, that's shit. They, Diana Taurasi would be the female LeBron, like how LeBron is putting in work that she's cold. She's good at her craft. I think uh, Rob was saying Becky is, Becky Hammond, said, excuse me. Yeah, is, I said, he yeah. said she old too. Oh, I didn't know you, you got your stuff pulled up. I thought you didn't have it. Yeah, I saw that. I had this. I called myself and I said, "Is that Becky Hammond? She ain't playing." It's this other chick from uh, UConn whose name is escaping me. That's who I confused for Becky Hammond. I want to say she plays for Minnesota. I can't think of the chick's name. She's probably been in the league like five years. Damn it, man! Damn it, man! I can't think of it. They wouldn't get that. <clears throat> Big Kane, I proved my point with this hoops, man. Women ain't gonna support their product, so they need to stop gassing these women up who are making like generational type wealth money to play a game at home comfortably, which they didn't have prior to 22 years ago. They need to stop gassing them up when they know ain't nobody coming to Big watch Kane, them play. Wait a minute. What if Big Kane wasn't going nowhere with the conversation? I think the conversation was going well. He was tired of me whooping your ass. You lost. You know why you lost? You gonna tell me why? Because I'm Trey the motherfucking star. That's why you lost. Got you twice in one show. Got you twice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. What's up, 420? 420, you missed a good conversation about this 420. guy. 420, name one WNBA player that's worth $10 million and explain why she should make more than the last player on the bench in the NBA. You just turned that question all the way around. Yeah, I'm saying name name a woman that should make ten million dollars and explain why. Because the bench player, the last nigga off the bench in the NBA, don't make ten million dollars. He's barely touching a million with endorsements. So why should she make more than him? Okay, so basically that's not what the conversation was about. It was about the, it was about the Shut gap up. in payment for women in basketball and the treatment that the NCAA women basketball was going through during the tournament. Had Point is, it's not, it's not one WNBA player worth $10 million. I'm sorry, it's just not. So what is, so how much are WNBA players worth then? What they making now? Let's, let's Google it. Hey, DJ we're not talking about DeJanae right now. I'm always talking about DeJanae. Let's 
gonna disappoint you when she become an Instagram model and uh, start messing with Drake or something. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. That wouldn't stop me from still dealing with her. In fact, I would be like, the salary cap is a hundred and seventeen thousand. All right. A salary cap one hundred and seventeen thousand. So the best player makes one hundred and seventeen thousand. See how much the minimum salary is for an NBA player. Hundred thousand dollar a year job, man. They complain. So, minimum rate don't really show up. It gives me stats for like people making money. Oh wait, maybe I'll just never mind. I just seen something. Y'all supposed to already know this answer. No, I don't. I think the minimum. I think the veteran. The minimum is five hundred thousand. I think. I think the worst player on there is making five hundred thousand, and he don't play. Said the minimum minimum annual salary for contract signed during well, that's two thousand two thousand eighteen. Yeah, it's still around the same base. That's why I said it's about five hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm not sure though. Yeah, it's a, it's in the hundred thousands. Yeah, the nigga that it's don't ever suit up and get in the game. 000. Yeah, the nigga that don't ever get in the game, he ain't even making a million dollars. And he got to get dunked on by the best players in the league in practice. Get pushed around. Get crossed over. Get embarrassed. But he's still going to go. 400,000. He ain't complaining. Hmm? No, I seen Rob said six hundred K. I was like, who gets six hundred K? Yeah, he took me out every week. I did yeah, see that number COVID. two. Eight hundred thousand for maybe that's not the right stats. I did see something like that. Is that the veterans minimum? No, the veterans minimum probably like one point five. Well, yeah, just a cat that walks on the team, undrafted free agent. He may make about eight hundred thousand a year. It could be, could have went up because I said about five hundred thousand, so it could have went up. After they realized. After they realize these folk is getting abused in practice every day and don't get to play. Their job is literally to be practice opponents, scrimmage opponents. Well, my observation of the situation, because I forgot what I wrote. So the title was, is women basketball worthless? Yep. And my closing remarks behind it, <laughs> you just threw me off talking about some yep. Yep. And my closing remarks behind the fact that is women basketball worthless, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're, it's a place for them and it, it's, they're not making the money they need to be making. But once again, you already explained to me that I'm the last person I need to be advocating for them to make the money because I'm not spending money on the product. What else are they going to do making $100,000 a year playing 30 games, which probably takes them three months? And as someone also mentioned in the comments or in the chat room, they said that if the performance is not up to par, why should I get a raise? I have to agree with that, too. I do also agree with you, too, uh, Money Boy, about everything as well. It's just sometimes, you know, like at this point, that's just like a teacher 
teacher should be making more money, but a doctor makes more money. Even though it's a teacher that teaches a doctor to be a doctor, the teacher is still making less than a doctor. Well, the so. professors are make the professors that are getting the doctors to do the surgery are making money, but I feel what you said. The teachers, well, teachers yeah, definitely I mean, need more money. If you want to be technical like that, you still got to start from somewhere. Yeah, because I'm saying, though, professors aren't complaining about how much they make because professors are making damn good money at these universities teaching these doctors and shit. But I agree with you, elementary teachers and high school teachers need a boost in pay as well, though, because, again, they're the ones that are priming them for all their levels. They all play a role. They're fostering this education. They foster the minds. But at the end of the day, listen. Teachers have a union, man. They got to fight and they got to strike. Yeah. And they have. Things have been getting a little better, but it's not perfect. Yeah, I say until you're willing to lose, until you're willing to lose your money, there's nothing that's going to change. Okay. To the teachers ready to say, you know what, we ain't teaching y'all kids. I'm gonna go to Amazon and give me a job. Ain't shit gonna happen. No, I had a um, I had someone leave a whole profession of teaching and become a truck driver. So, yeah. Double the salary immediately. It does flip the script fast in education. But if we're, um, that was my closing for the evening for this segment of the topic. Unless you got anything else you want to say. I'm good, boo. You know, and I do appreciate everybody that came through. Um, closing remark I have from Big Kane. He said, it's not worthless. It's not profitable, though. Which is basically worthless. If it if it's not making you any money in business, it's worthless. Nobody goes into business to break even. I'm I'm trying to close it off in a in a. We got to get over being horrified by words because that's actually what it is. It's worthless. It has no value. It has value, sir. If it was valuable, it would be making a profit, ma'am. So I guess this will be a part two of this discussion later. I appreciate yeah. it. <clears throat> I got a question. Oh, shit. If I'm spending $100 on an ounce of weed and I'm making $100 back after I get through selling that ounce of weed, Am I valuable or am I just spending my wheels? Spinning, not spending, spinning my wheels. No, no, no. Okay, no. say it one more time, sir. I buy a hundred dollars worth of weed. I sell the weed and all I've made is a hundred dollars. Am I valuable? To yourself or to what you were doing? To my business. Is my business valuable if all I made back is what I spent? And this is all I ever do for 22 years. Well, of course not. But you know me and my... my Case closed. Business. Case closed, Joy. Case closed. No, well, now that, you is the, that, is, that is the WNBA in a nutshell. They have been breaking even for 22 years and they saying we are valuable. Give us a raise. How in the entire fuck? I'm gonna have to do some more research. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna have to do some more research because I, I just don't believe that thing is not valuable because the market is just not there for it. Based on the analogy I just gave you with the weed, I'm not valuable. I'm just wasting my motherfucking time. Then why would uh, why would they why is their endorsements why is it that they pushed it why did they even come up with it if it, they just knew it was going to be a break break because they they thought they were going to get money they thought the feminist movement would come help them sell out arenas and they don't okay. women don't want to watch it they don't want to support it men support the NBA that's who drives the NBA 
and the NFL, although there are women fans, most of their supporters are men. So for the women to demand equal pay, women have to go sell out these arenas. And so that's why when football came out with the women football, they put them in the G-strings. Yes. Because women ain't going to watch, women don't watch football. And they were like, well, men love sex and football. Good idea. Mm. But you know what women also do? Women buy NBA jerseys. They buy the NFL jerseys that are custom cut like for women. They buy NFL shit. They don't buy WNBA shit. Them ratchet dresses that they were making out of jerk. Yeah, ratchetness. Uh, Yeah. Did you see any WNBA dresses? No. Y'all don't support it. All right, on that note, we're getting out of here, guys. Once again, I want to appreciate. You did not win nothing. I didn't even know we were debating. You can't. Yeah, because you have to make a competition. You know what? We're going to end this. Take that air, Pooh. Are we going to finish our uh, Netflix and chill night? We got another one? I thought we... No, no we paused it. You the one got oh, sleepy. Yeah, we did, we did, we did, we did. We did. I forgot about that. I forgot. It was freaking five hours. So I appreciate cool. everybody for stopping by. He <laughs> said the WNBA and Thongs, I'm there. Big Man. I <laughs> can't talk to y'all. I cannot. I'm not talking to any of you people. See, no. It's going to take some innovative ideas like that for the WA to pull the profit. But then they would be like, oh, y'all trying to degrade us. It's just sexist, yada, yada, yada. Are we going to be there at 420? You know we're going to show up. We're going to pull up. 420 say he's walking. He's getting his, uh, his beverage for the evening. Oh, shit, now. It's going down. I said it felt like a tequila Friday, but I don't know. Oh, shit. Child, listen, let me thank you guys for stopping by. This was very informative. I didn't know half the stuff. I learned a lot from um, from Drika, Darika, Dashan. What's her name? Dejanay, ma'am. Carrie. Oh, yeah, I learned a lot about her and everything. <laughs> Just playing. She called it good to Rico. <laughs> he um, just gave her a ghetto name, even though DJ Nay is pretty. I try to keep up. But like you I always tell you guys, do what y'all need to do with my channel. Like, subscribe, and make sure you guys comment below so I can chit chat with y'all in the comment section. And y'all can tell me how much y'all think that Money Boy was wrong and I was right. Okay? I appreciate it. I swear I do. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you, Money Boy, as always. Money Boy, Money Boy, Money Boy, Trade, Money Boy, Money Boy, Money Boy, Trade, 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 Trade,